All right, all right, another week. Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, so you already know what time it is. I'm back with another episode of This Week in Hype. This week, there isn't that many stories to cover, I'll be completely honest, but the stories that we do have are pretty important in my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys take away some valuable information, of course, like always. And of course, I hope you guys stay to the end because I definitely do not want you guys to miss out on anything. But before I get into the actual video, I do want to mention one quick thing. Like I've been mentioning lately my cook group ugly gang 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 we are right now capped at memberships we don't have any available memberships we recently just restocked the group on the 15th that just passed if you guys were able to join shout out to you guys I'm pretty sure you guys are already reaping the benefits of being in the group if you didn't get a chance to join and you want to we are going to be announcing the next restock very soon it's not going to be you know anytime soon It's probably going to be in June but if you guys do want to join I promise 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 you guys do not want to sleep on it you guys can join the discord for the time being hang out in there wait for that announcement and when we do restock just please do not sleep on that but once again my cook group is amazing we have everything you need to succeed in this community so if you guys want to join I promise you guys will not regret that but enough of that let's get into the actual video we do have quite a bit to discuss today so without further ado welcome to another episode of this week in hype all right let's kick things off with a weekend recap like we usually do this past week or so it has been a pretty jam-packed week of releases I believe there were five notable releases that come to my mind one of them being the Stussy Nike Spiridons there was an all black model that just recently came out a lot of people struck out on that sneaker I'm actually pretty surprised that I walked away with two pairs both of them are size 8 you guys are definitely going to see both of them on this channel so definitely stay tuned for that I'll give you guys a full review if you guys want it just let me know in the comment section below um, again that sneaker is fire part of me really wishes that I was you know able to secure a size 10 and a half my personal size I probably would have took it straight to the feet regardless I'm not mad because those are performing pretty well on the market so uh, yeah I guess it's a W all around but another release that happened this past weekend was the CDG dunk lows I actually have both of them right here um, again I was pretty fortunate enough to pick these up I picked both of them up from DSM I actually have five pairs of these only two of them arrived which are these two I'm waiting on the other three um, in my opinion the $260 price tag that uh, you know came with these it's really steep, way too steep for me to, you know, even consider keeping them for personal. Even though, to be honest, I'm not too big on them. I probably wouldn't keep them. Um, I can understand the appeal for them, but to be honest, if it were up to me, I probably wouldn't keep any of them. But let me know in the comment section below which one do you like better. If I had to choose one, it's obviously going to be the print one. This one is just a little bit too basic. And again, that $260 price tag for this one, it just doesn't make sense. For this one, at least you're getting some CDG branding on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But moving on, another sneaker that dropped this past weekend, actually happened yesterday, was a shock drop of the Air Jordan 13 Flint. Um, I'm not sure how the hell I messed out on this shoe. I had it in my Discord for about 10 hours prior. My group completely smoked that release. I believe like 90% of the people in my group actually got a pair of those. Some even got multiple pairs. I'll even go ahead and show you guys the success feed from, uh, from the Discord. It was actually a smoke show. Um, again, I was going after it. The sneakers app just would not load for me. I was just not paying attention. To be honest, I was actually really excited to watch the last two episodes of the documentary but enough of that stuff let's get into some upcoming releases let's discuss these nike sb dunk glows we have a lot of them it feels like 2020 is the year of dunk glows and it does not look like there's any plans on stopping putting them out so let's discuss these 7-elevens bad news for the people out there who were actually looking forward to these these are in fact canceled I'm not sure what went into the decision to cancel them because I saw that a lot of people actually wanted to, you know, pick these up for personal. Um, I'm not sure, again, if there are any pairs out there, they're probably charging an arm and a leg for them. So if you do want to pay resale for them, I guess get ready, get your pockets ready because it's going to be a large amount of cash. Um, again, I was a fan of that sneaker. I didn't like the concept entirely. I'm not really sure why 7-Eleven was such a sought after concept for an SB. But regardless, I did think that the sneaker was pretty unique. So if I was able, if I could have just, uh, you know, walked in and got a pair, I would have definitely taken it. But um, again, they are canceled. So uh, yeah, if you guys were looking forward to that, I guess you guys can scratch that off of your list. But moving on, we do have another pretty sought after Nike SB releasing this month on the 23rd. 
at least on the 23rd, it's releasing in skate shops. On the 26th, it's on the sneakers app. I'm referring to the Nike SB Dunk Low Ben & Jerry's. We've seen those you know, over and over and over again. If you guys are on social media, if you guys are on Instagram, you probably are sick and tired of seeing these. Um, these Chucky Dunkies are fire though. They're going to be extremely hard to grab. There's a shit ton of raffles already out there. For those of you guys who are in my group, you guys probably already seen all the raffles out there. We have like a whole thread of just Chunky Dunky raffles. Um, again, I really wish you guys the best of luck if you are looking to pick up these pairs. They're only retailing for $100, and I can already see uh, you know these reselling for at least $500, $600 off rip. Down the road, they're definitely going to increase in value. So uh, yeah, I really, really hope you guys are able to pick these up if you are interested. Once again, that is on the 23rd for Skate Shops and on the 26th for the Sneakers app. But moving on, we do have some Nike Dunk Lows to discuss, not necessarily some SBs. These are the Brazil pair. These are in a pack of three. I believe there's a St. John's pair, there's a Brazil pair, and there's what I believe they're calling a Champs pair, which kind of resembles a New York Knick colorway. Um, these are set to release on the 21st of this month, retailing 100 bucks. I definitely don't have to be the one to say it. These are going to slap. A lot of people are going to want to get their hands on these, not to mention that they're 100 bucks, so that low retail is extremely enticing these are going to fly off the shelf if you guys are interested in these I would definitely not recommend sleeping on these for these as well there's a lot of raffles already out there so I would definitely look out for those but once again when these come out on the 21st do not sleep because these are definitely going to be a really really hard grab once again on the 21st a hundred bucks um, moving on, we do have some Nike Dunk Highs to talk about. These are a Notre Shop collaboration. These are really, really basic. There's two pairs. There's a beige pair, like a beige goldish pair, and there's also a white, purple, and blue pair. Both of them, in my opinion, are super, super basic. They actually remind me of another collaboration, Dunk Highs, that I spoke about a couple weeks ago. I can't remember the exact collaboration that it was, but these, again, super basic. I don't really know the plan, you know, surrounding these Nike SBs and these Nike Dunk releases. I'm not sure if Nike is just planning to run these releases into the ground, but for you guys, look forward to these. These don't have an official release date right now, but I'm pretty sure they're going to come out very, very soon. But moving on, let's talk about some big trash of the week. Let's get that out the way. This week, we only have one story. There's actually a lot you know, more trash out there, but these are the ones that I want to focus on. With all of the Air Jordan 1s that are set to release in 2020, we're getting these nasty Air Jordan 1 Vault and University Gold pair. It's very rare, very rare you guys are gonna see me trash a pair of Air Jordan 1 highs, but these are not it. The colorways are trash. I wish somebody would guide Jordan Brand in the right direction when it comes to releasing nice Jordan 1 high models. These are not it. I don't know who will pick these up. These are definitely going to end up in the outlet. I would 100% recommend passing on these on the initial release date. You would 100% be able to save some money, buy them like three, four months later for a really nice discounted price again super trash in my opinion if you guys are feeling these let me know in the comment section but enough of that let's get back to some fire upcoming releases we have a lot of air jordan ones to discuss so let's just get right into it one of them is a collaboration with j balvin we saw these first surface i believe it was a day of the super bowl these are in my opinion pretty dope i know a lot of people out there are calling them like clown shoes there's too much going on there's a lot of colors there's a lot of just different materials materials on these these in my opinion regardless are going to slap if you are a j balvin fan if you guys know about j balvin j balvin is a pretty much a international megastar so these again a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on these right now they're slated to release during the holiday time of this year so later 2020 um i don't have to say it if you guys are able to pick these up it's a big w even though a lot of people are not filling them for personal these are still going to slap on the market so i would definitely not recommend sleeping on those Another pair of Air Jordan 1s releasing is a pair of Top 3 2.0s. These, in my opinion, are much, much, much better than the original Top 3 Air Jordan 1s that released. I'm just a really big fan of the color blocking that they put on this one rather than the old one. The old one just had a lot going on. This one is sort of like a black toe with a you know royal top. As somebody who passed on the original Top 3s, I would definitely not pass on these. I don't have to say it once again, these are going to slap on the market. So if you guys are interested in these even a little bit, I would definitely not recommend sleeping on those either. Those are also scheduled to release during the holiday time of this year. So once again, we do have some time to wait. 
Uh, moving on, we do have a women's Air Jordan 1 to talk about. This is a metallic silver pair. These are scheduled to release even later on in 2021. So a long time to wait for these if you are interested. Um, for me, personally, I'm not a huge fan of this sneaker. I love, love, love my Air Jordan 1 Shadows. In fact, if you guys know me, Air Jordan 1 Shadows are my favorite Air Jordan 1s. Don't ask me why. I'm just a really, really big fan of that sneaker. These sort of remind me of the Alayali Mays Shadow Satins that came out, I believe, like two years ago. Um, regardless, pretty dope sneaker for you females out there. If you are interested in these, it's not a bad pickup at all. But uh, for me, I'll probably end up passing on these. I can't see these doing something on the market, especially if they are limited. But um, again, 2021, I would say keep your eyes peeled if you are interested in those. But moving on, we have a pair of Arctic Punch Air Jordan 1s. These are also set to release in 2021. So some more leaks, some more rumors for next year. These also remind me of another Air Jordan 1. It was a pair that released during Art Basel 2018, I believe. Um, these are super, super, super fire. Um, again, I would rock these. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, we're gonna have to wait till 2021 to get them. But uh, me personally, I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for those. Uh, moving on, we have another pair of Air Jordan 1s. These are a University Blue colorway. These, for me personally, just don't do the job. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and pick up a pair of UNC Air Jordan 1s, it's probably going to be the OGs, not necessarily these. Um, regardless, if you guys are in need of some UNC 1s, these are not a bad pickup. But in my opinion, the color is just slightly off. Slightly off enough for me to notice it and not want to, you know, go ahead and pick it up. Um, regardless, these are not bad. They're not terrible pair. There's definitely much, much worse Jordan 1s out there. So if you guys are looking forward to these, this is another pair that's releasing in 2021. So we're still probably going to get a lot more photos, a lot better photos, a lot of on feet photos at that as well. So um, again, if you guys are interested in these, I would say look forward to those as well. But moving on, enough of those Air Jordan 1s. We do have some easy news to discuss. Like always, there is no This Week in Hype without discussing some Yeezys. So let's get right into it. As you guys probably heard, the Yeezy 350 Zions that I spoke about a couple weeks ago, those are in fact delayed. Those are delayed till the middle of June. I believe the official release date is June 13th. Again, $220, another pair of 350s. Do we need another pair? In my opinion, definitely not. In fact, you guys can put those in the vault and I would not give a fuck. But um, if you guys are interested in another pair of 350s, I guess you guys can look forward to these as well. But moving on, we do have another pair of MNVNs dropping. These are a all black pair. These are releasing on the 23rd of this month, so in a couple of days, retailing that $220 price tag. These just being a you know triple black pair is going to appeal to a lot more people. Even for the people who probably aren't filling the whole MNVN model, they're probably going to want to test out this one. It being you know so neutral and so easy to wear. Um, regardless, it's not going to be an easy grab. Even though me, I'm probably going to go ahead and pass on it. A lot of people are probably going to try to pick up a pair um, for resale, for personal, all that stuff, obviously. So again, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these pairs, I would not recommend sleeping on it. Just go ahead, go cop, do not hesitate because I would hate for you guys to miss out on these as well. But moving on, the last sneaker story that I have for you guys, we are supposed to be getting another pair of Nike Air Force One and Off-White collaboration crazy i did not think that we will get another one this is a university gold pair i don't have to say it this sneaker is fire 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 as somebody who does not own a pair of off-white air force ones i need these in my collection i really hope that i score for retail because resale is going to be just through the roof like all off-white air force ones people are going to be charging an arm and a leg maybe even a head for this pair hopefully it's not a friends and family it doesn't appear to be a friends and family it does look like a pair that's actually going to release to the public but um here's to hoping that we actually are lucky and are able to pick up a pair again look forward to that keep your eyes peeled and uh yeah don't sleep when you do see some news on those but moving on, we do have some streetwear news to discuss. For Supreme Week 13, we are getting a banger of a collaboration. We are supposed to be getting a North Face collab. This collaboration is set to drop six different pieces. I believe there's a cargo vest, 
a cargo uh, pair of pants, a cargo jacket, um, a keychain, a tote, and I believe there's a hat as well, all in three different colorways. I believe there's a black, a gold, and I believe a multicolor, uh, you know, one as well. Regardless, I cannot wait to see these pieces. We have no idea what these pieces look like. I'm pretty sure that, the, you know, leaks are going to drop pretty soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. Definitely stay tuned for my drop list, uh, you know, review and my predictions, all that stuff. Obviously, I come through with that every week, so if you guys are interested in that, please look forward to that. I'm probably going to go all out, pick up as many pieces as I can, Anytime it's Supreme and North Face, you already know it's going to slap on the market. So I cannot wait to see these pieces. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am because finally we're getting a North Face collab this season. But that is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like for your boy. Comment your thoughts and please subscribe to the channel. It'll definitely be appreciated. Once again, if you guys want to cook up with the boy, do not sleep on my Discord. I know right now you cannot join, but I would 100% recommend joining the Discord, waiting in there for the time being, holding put until that announcement drops, holding put until the next restock. Join up if you can. A lot of cooks going on over there, a great community. I would hate for you guys to miss out on that. But that is it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. Until next time. Peace.